Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. Pull your shells, densely search by the vassals. I'm a useful idiot, and uh, welcome to the 21st century 2013 African clusterfuck. Because uh, it's in full gear now, and I don't have to convince anybody. And I've been uh, talking about these issues for uh, quite some time, the better part of six months or a year. I've done a video on AFRICOM, and uh, this was created under the Bush administration, and now uh, this... Uh, this organization is being expanded uh, greatly under the Obama administration. And um, we have um, Africa in the sights. And um, I've also done four videos about uh, the conflict in Mali. And uh, it's unfolding just as predicted. And why wouldn't it? So now we have um, the Mali converging on Mali. We have uh, mercenaries, uh, or so-called private contractors. We have... Uh, American black ops of logistical support. We have British support. We have French troops. We have Mali troops. We have troops from Chad, Niger. We have the West African force there. They're all there. And then, as promised, it's going to be a magnet for jihadis from all over the region. And um, that will continue. And these, uh, these uh, Islamic radicals and jihadis will uh, destabilize regimes all through that region as the, the influence of these events affects all the countries in that region. And we know that these uh, jihadis are coming from all over the region and the, the globe because one, it's completely predictable, and two, now we have body IDs of the militants killed in Algeria, neighboring Algeria. And um, as it turns out, of course, they're from all over North Africa, all over the Middle East, and oddly enough, even Canada. And um, there's a lot more events unfolding all over Africa, and it's happening very quickly. And um, I uh, bring all this up because uh, we have been told exactly what to expect. And uh, I'm surprised that uh, David Cameron, the Prime Minister of the UK, actually came out and said that the West faces decades of conflict in North Africa. And uh, I know on the one hand he is countering the comments of French President Hollande um, about the fact that he thinks the Mali conflict will take uh, weeks or maybe months, but uh, the UK Prime Minister came out and said that the growing threat of Islamist militants in North Africa required, quote, a response that is about years, even decades, rather than months, unquote, and he compared the situation to Afghanistan, and he is absolutely correct, and um, these events cannot be uh, unforeseen, uh, it's part of the plan, so as we see destabilization and U.S. intervention all throughout Africa. This is part of the plan. And um, it's not like they stumble into these things and they're surprised at what happens. Uh, right now we have the French and Mali claiming that they're surprised how well trained and how well armed the Islamic radicals are. And um, I'm not sure why they should be surprised since the French essentially supp supplied them a lot of the training and weapons in Libya for the Libyan intervention. But uh, David Cameron is absolutely correct, and uh, we've seen some huge steps recently. First of all, the um, offensive in Mali was scheduled to be uh, done in September, and now uh, nine months away, but instead it's happened in the first two weeks of the new year. So uh, as I stated before, it is the first brand new war of 2013, and turning out to be quite a doozy. Then we have the other story about uh, the United States announcing that they would be moving U.S. military into 23 new countries in Africa. And um, that should come as no surprise either. We have bases all over Africa now, including Uganda and Nigeria. We have troops in Uganda, Nigeria, Somalia, Democratic Republic of Congo, um, all over this region. And we're going to see more of that because uh, not only is there going to be continued uh, violence, ongoing violence in Libya, as there's ethnic cleansing against uh, black Libyans, but uh, we're going to see the possibility that uh, Algeria is now going to destabilize. It was never that stable to begin with. Uh, also a very long uh, war involving France and their own civil war. And now we have Eritrea, um, a region that broke off of uh, Ethiopia in 93. And uh, there's talk of a coup there and infiltration by radical Islamists there. And so we're going to see this pattern repeated over and over and over. And then we have the ongoing conflict in Somalia as well, where uh, 
West African Union forces and special operations black ops um, are operating and have been operating ever since uh, the American de debacle at Mogadishu so many years ago. And um, so that um, story continues to unfold and uh, with the hopes of uh, making sure that uh, radical Islamist elements do not take root there. And then we have Ethiopia. Ethiopia is also a very uh, fragile regime right now and uh, we could see some difficulties there. In fact, I'll do a separate video on that. So, uh, so anyway, I just wanted to bring this up because we have a convergence of events that tells us that David Cameron is absolutely right and he is announcing to the world to expect that we will be in Africa for decades to come. And part of this is we need to counter all of China, China's uh, involvement in Africa because China has been investing in infrastructure and creating jobs and um, helping the Africans uh, expand their society and exploit their own resources. Now the United States is moving into Africa to counter China's uh, access to the resources there, which are uh, vast and largely untapped. They include everything from gas and oil to gold and iron ore and everything else that the, uh, the rest of the world needs, including, I would imagine, rare earth metals, which are uh, going to be a hot commodity in the 21st century. And um, so they're telling us we're going to be there for decades for another reason as well, and that's because we now see attention moving away from the Middle East as the United States moves into Africa, and that will be the new um, cash cow for the military industrial complex. So we will be uh, training and equipping and selling arms um, to nations all over Africa. We've got to get them on their feet, exploit their resources, and uh, commandeer their economies, work with their corrupt governments, and uh, make sure we can position to uh, get all their uh, resources as cheap as possible and um, make sure we load them up with debt and uh, military equipment for the next couple of decades. So that will be the pattern. So uh, there you have it, David Cameron. From the horse's mouth, we're going to be in Africa for decades. And when he says we, that includes the United States. I'm useful idiot. Don't you be one too.